Caribverse is a Caribbean comic book company based in Trinidad and Tobago. Here we highlight our characters from the region as well as internationally. And now, our feature presentation, The Islanders, issue number one. At the National Security Subbase Arima is a military soldier, Ade Kojo, receiving a call from the Caribbean Security Agency. He turned in the direction of the screen. Approximately five hours ago, our headquarters had been hit by an unknown force. So what do you want me for? asked Adi. We want you to hunt down this threat. Use your investigative skills or even better, your instincts, said the CSA official. Are you fellas not the CSA, our region's main defense? The CSA official went on to explain that while that is true, the regional security agency weren't ready for this. A video was then shown of agents trying to defend their base from a robotic-like creature. Ade observes before walking away, he said he had commitments to his nation, but said, Good luck with rebuilding and locating these creatures. I think we'll be seeing you soon, said the CSA official. Outside the facility, a military van awaited for him. How was it? asked the soldier. Interesting, said Ade. Ade places his hand on the soldier's shoulder. I need to head to Shagornas to meet up with the others. Wait, there's something going down, said the soldier, reaching for his walkie-talkie. Sooner attack at Central Mall. Sooner attack at Central Mall. Wait. Damn it, situation is worse than I thought. Time to suit up, shouted Adi. Meanwhile, at the Shogunas Mall, a group of hostile Sooners were disturbing the peace by using their abilities for no good. A female civilian had been crouched up on the mall floor. She had been approached by one of the Sooners who stood over her and was about to strike when suddenly, blam! A hand stopped his fist before he was then flung into the air. An individual stepped up toward him. Freeze, mister. The other Sooners turned to the man in the suit. Look, Olya is the savior of the land, said one of the female Sooners. I'm flattered, but I'm giving you a chance to disappear. I have bigger fish to fry. Okay, well if we're not going anywhere, said one of the Sooners. Well, my Sooner friend, that answer is wrong, just like your hairstyle. The Sooner then charged into the defender, who easily subdued him with a few blows and finally a kick in the chest, which sent him through a wall. Soon afterward, the defender was struck by a beam, which moved him slightly across the floor. One of them rushed in, but the defender held him and hit him a classic body slam. The defender raised his hand and fired. One of the Sooners had been struck, the other one blocked the blast. The defender headlocked the female Sooner. She then aimed at the ground and levitated with the defender still on her back. You have energy, said the defender. They then struck the roof. However, he zapped her before she hit the floor. Soon after, the defender gave his report. Listen to me, I have them. Yeah, I'm not too far from Central, said 4.0. Okay, I'm going to inquire about these attacks. Give me a map of where the attacks are currently. An image of Arima comes up in a hologram form. You all getting this? Ade, I come in there, said 0.6. Ja, this is madness, said 4.0. No, this is my fight. He then sped off on his motorbike toward Arima, where the creature had been located. And above, in the clouds, an individual approaches. The end. And that was a Caravus feature presentation. Would the defender defeat the creature in Arima? Find out in Islanders issue number two. Caravus TV, where we bring the stories to you.